these fish are ancient. They have seen glaciers come and go. They've been here for millions of years. And we're using some of the most innovative and cutting edge technology to better understand them out of a place of respect and appreciation so that we can do what we can to conserve and, and restore these populations. The brook trout is the only native trout species to the Appalachian region. In addition to its cultural and economic significance, the brook trout has also become an important species for environmental conservation. It's the canary in the coal mine for climate change in Appalachian streams. Studying the migration of fish has always been a challenge. In order to keep track of individual fish, researchers have traditionally used what are known as pit tags. These tags must be surgically implanted into each fish for tracking. This can be a time-consuming and expensive project not to mention uncomfortable for the fish. However, researchers at the UVA School of Data Science have teamed up with experts at the U.S. Geological Survey to develop a new approach to tracking individual fish. Utilizing computer vision and machine learning techniques, the researchers have developed methods for identifying a fish from a single image. Once implemented, this new technique will reduce the need for pit tags and facilitate the expansion of ecological research around the globe. At the beginning, we analyze the fish images and uh, try to identify interesting visual patterns which can distinguish fish individuals. There are a couple of benchmarks that we use morphologically on the body of these fish. One is the lateral line. This is a, a sensory organ on the side of fish and you can see it as a small line in the middle of the side of the fish. And on the lateral line, you'll typically see large oval shaped dark circles, those are called par marks. Those are generally visible in younger life, life stages. And then you'll see pigmentation spots on top of those par marks. So that gives us several layers of information that we can use to fingerprint these fish, essentially. So being able to, uh, to identify individuals and use population models that are based on individual identification, or in individual ID, lets us do a whole new class of models that are much more sensitive. The challenge is, so this stream that we're at is called the Westbrook, and we studied this stream since 1997 with physical tags. Imagine we could have anglers out there or other people that can catch fish, taking pictures of fish and getting information on individuals in a whole bunch of places. Right now, we only work on the images, but in the future, we want to deploy video-based uh, solutions. So imagine we had a whole bunch of video cameras set out in the stream here. Combine that with in individual identification. Basically get a real-time continuous census of the population. That would change everything in how we, how we monitor populations. You know, a lot of people are um, skeptical of AI or afraid of what it could do. I think the more we have projects like this that show the value for conservation, the better off we're going to be and the better off that AI can be in society.